If you want to use your ViewSonic as a digital signage device, you're going to need to make sure it has a Manager Advanced license assigned to it. If you haven't done so already, go watch our video on how to assign a Manager Advanced license. Now we can immediately start sending digital media to our devices by starting either an All Devices start or going to a specific group. Now before you can send media, you're going to need to toggle from basic to advanced features. So in your group and or list, you're going to see a toggle here on the top left. By default, it's on basic features. So then we need to toggle over to advanced features. From there, we're going to select our device, go to the broadcast button, choose multimedia, and you can simply upload, drag or drop, or choose from pre-existing files to broadcast to your board. You'll see at the bottom we can choose if we want our media to run continuously, if we have a custom time, so maybe an hour, and if we want to not allow people who are at the boards to be able to stop the playback. But what if you want to use a playlist or use multiple media files at once? In order to do that, we're gonna go over to the left and choose media. Just like before, we can upload specific files by clicking on the plus icon. You'll see here we can drag and drop and then add those files. Any of these files can then be added to a playlist simply by clicking on the three dots and choosing add to playlist. Any existing playlists are gonna show up here or we can create a new one. Now at any time, if I want to go in and edit that playlist, I'm going to choose the playlist file on the left. Scroll down and or search to find your playlist. Or simply add another file to the playlist directly from media. Now, if you want to drill in and see specifics of your playlist, choose it from the list on the left. You'll see any files that you've added to it. You can continue to add files from here if you would like. And you can select multiple files at one time. If you want to change the order of the files, select it and then use the up and down arrows at the top or use the trash can to delete a file that maybe you don't want anymore. You'll notice on the right a duration, which can be edited by selecting the pencil. For example, a video will display once, or you can have it continuously run for a specific amount of time before transitioning to the next media file. With an image, you can choose how long the image will display. Now that we have our playlist ready, let's go send it to our devices. Go to your group or search for your device. Make sure that you toggle from basic to advanced features. Select your device, choose the broadcast button, and this time we're gonna choose playlist. From here, we'll scroll down, choose our playlist, and just like before, we can choose continuous, a custom runtime, and if we want to not allow end users to dismiss out of the playlist. Choose OK, and then it will broadcast your playlist to your board. You'll notice that when a device is broadcasting, its status will change from green to red. Red simply means it's broadcasting. Now, if you allowed your users to do so, they could end the broadcast. However, you can also manually end the broadcast by finding the red in broadcast button here in the middle. When you select that, you can select individual or all devices, select OK, and then you see here that our device returned back to normal.